Good afternoon everyone, this is Jared with selfliquid.com. It is January 20th at about 4.25 in the afternoon. Uh, tomorrow the markets are closed with Martin Luther King Day, but will be open on Tuesday. So with the uh, short week, um, I want to talk about Apple going into earnings. So not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. So with the short week, Apple has an expected move of $4.21. Um, so where we currently stand at 156.82, that would put us at 161.03, if my math is correct. And let's take a look at uh, the levels I've run here. So you can see here, um, right just above where price is currently, there's quite a bit of uh, at least shorter term resistance. So first, the 34 exponential moving average at 160.48. This red 100% is... Uh, a Fibonacci extension from the low to high to low projects basically a symmetrical move at 100% here. And then this 2618 from this high to this low. So all these levels coming in right in this area makes me think with the expected move of $4.21 that this is where we're going to end up uh, at the end of this week. With Apple reporting earnings next Tuesday, um, my plan is is to buy a call debit spread uh, to take advantage of the increase in implied volatility leading up to earnings. So my plan is to take that off um, towards the end of the day on Tuesday. So what I'll be looking at is something like uh, the 157 and a half. So that's the uh, first strike, I believe, out of the money in Apple uh, for the February 1st contracts. So those are the contracts for uh, their earnings week. And then I, so I'll be buying the 157 and I'll be selling uh, the 165s. So let's take a look at that really quick here and just see kind of what that'll offer us as um, in terms of the trade. So if I buy the 157, so the buy vertical and I'll be selling the 165. So right now, I mean, that's, you know, before the market opens on Tuesday, things will definitely change. Uh, but that gives us a, a max risk of 277 per contract, max profit of 473 per contract. Um, so with a vertical, you know, you are capping your upside potential. But in this type of scenario, what I'm doing is selling one to sort of help finance the, you know, the uh, Kind of higher premium um, of the one I'm buying, but the idea is the closer we get to earnings, um, you know, those options will increase in value. So this is a really shorter term trade. You know, going to be in it just for probably three to four days. Um, it really just depends on how we open on Tuesday. You know, the hope is is that it opens down on Tuesday so I can get in, um, and then you know just kind of let this thing ride up until Tuesday. Um, now, looking at this from a longer standpoint, let's look at a monthly chart. Okay, so let me zoom out here just a bit. Okay, perfect. So what I want to point out here is, once again, the 34 exponential moving average. So I talked about this just a moment ago. Um, I look at this as sort of the mean. So it's this white line here. So this is the 2008 crash. So going back all the way to that, you can see that price, anytime it gets near it, um, that's acted basically, you know, just shy of support. We had a run up here, came back, kind of acted like a magnet here. Nice run up once again ran up and once again you know here in january so this is a monthly so each candle is a month um, we're currently above this so with their earnings ahead i think january you know is pretty pivotal um, each year i talked about this i believe in the video last week where um, january acts as somewhat as a is the barometer for the year so if you have a good january the market tends to have a good year if you have a down uh, january the market tends to be you know down on the year so, you know, Apple and some of these other names like Netflix that just reported, Facebook, Amazon, Google, uh, the FANG stocks are all very important to really how 2019 goes for the market, you know, if we're going to have a bullish or bearish year. Um, in the kind of really, I would say, uh, you know, mid to, to long term, so six months out, 
um, I'm still, you know, uh, bearish Apple. So what I would expect here going into earnings and after that um, in Apple is if we do get, you know, a move up in Apple after earnings, I'd be looking to buy options uh, after the, the premium uh, kind of deflates there up to something around like 187.74. Um, you know, the first area would be around 175. I've got these two levels here, but those are uh, projected from the high to low here. Excuse me. So those are really the first areas where I think Apple will kind of slow down. But I am expecting, you know, bullish activity after earnings. So uh, with the short week ahead, um, Apple is going to be my primary focus with earnings, but we will be looking at other things. So if you're enjoying these videos, uh, I'd ask that you please subscribe, give it a like, and uh, join me during the live sessions next week. That's all I've got for today, guys. Take care. Talk to you soon.